What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and I'm not sure why I had to start this video with a Coca-Cola edit but you know what like those glass bottles and just the theming of this room in the hotel it, it just fits. It really does. <laughs> so this hotel we've heard a lot of things about and we've been wanting to try it out for a little bit. I am so happy we have finally made it here. I'm pretty impressed. Like the attention to detail on things and I'll show you when we go around our room but this is actually the coolest hotel, like not lodge or anything like that, but like yeah. coolest hotel, hotel that I've ever stayed in. There's one that kind of comes close in France, but yeah. personally, this one is really this best. one's number one for me. It's like, it's, it's a like 1950 feel, but, like but modern. Yeah, and it's like, it's, I feel like the demographic is more like to try to target the younger crowd, because yeah. like the hipstery things that I find in here. It's definitely for <sighs> cool people and that's why we're here. Because <laughs> we're so cool. So cool. Lame. Yeah, we're lame. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I think we should start by showing them the room. 100%. And don't mind me, like I said, I'm going to go into detail because I just, I love the little things that are around here. Yeah, so anytime Tracy says wow or nice, just take a shot. <laughs> let's go. Or amazing. <laughs> okay, so we just enter the room and you have like a little seating luggage closet area. So nothing too crazy, looks really nice, I really like that chair. But this is where it starts to get just the detail, I love it. So you have a smeg, I think I'm saying that right, fridge, so you have like a little bit of like that retro vibe. And then behind here on the bookshelves, you actually have like Charles Dickens books and then this whole seating area, like the colors and if you look up at the light, like. It's just the decor that we personally love. So the room that we have is actually called the biggest bedroom. It's equivalent to a suite in other type of hotels. And it's one of the only ones that has an adjoining door. So that way if your friends or family get the room next door, then you could open it up and have adjoining rooms, which would be great for a girls weekend. Just saying. And there's actually a massive TV here, which hotels don't normally have big TVs. If you come over, this is the bedroom. Like even the color of the bedspread, like most hotels is white, which is nice, but I just, the color scheme, I love it. And just, just look over there. is so cool because my father always had one in the basement to this day actually so another thing another TV on the bedroom side so you have two massive TVs and the coffee lover in me is very happy because you have a coffee press with this super cool kettle I've seen them everywhere I think they just look cool there's no reason <laughs> so before we go outside on the balcony let's look at the bathroom so the bathroom is super nice. They have a nice big deep tub, which I love my bath, so that's amazing. You have your toilet, which has its own door, which is nice, and your shower. Double sink, which is always a plus, but look how cool the Kleenex box is. Again, the detail. So not only that, these doors, they open four ways, like there's four panels, and if you want it, you could shove them all to one side. So we have two little chairs out here, and look at the view. Something we didn't realize is we have driven past this hotel so many times, and we didn't know it was here until we, well, put it on Google Maps. So now that you guys have seen our room, which is pretty cool, we're going to show you the rest of the hotel, but mainly the restaurant because there's like four different places where you can actually eat a meal and we're not sure which one we're going to pick for supper. So we're going to go visit them and then make a reservation. Let's go. Let's go.
as we're walking around to see the different restaurant, we just found the gym and it's nice. Like it's small, but it's very nice. Like the equipment is like, it's the expensive stuff. So this place looks super nice, but apparently it gets loud. They seem to have like a station for a DJ and everything. It's like a party spot. Yeah, seems like a, you know, you have supper and then later on you go there for a drink or two or yeah. five, depending yeah. on how you feel. Yeah. So I have to say, I feel super secure in this hotel. For one, you need your key card to use the elevator, which is kind of, which is kind of standard. But then watch this. You also need your key card to enter the floor. So if someone gets on the elevator by mistake, then they have an extra barrier. So we just came back to the room. I wasn't able to like film in like every restaurant just because there's a lot of people yeah. and I hate being that weirdo with this big camera and microphone and everything. And not only that, their own privacy. Like it's yeah, hard yeah, to be exactly. discreet when... Exactly. Yeah. But I'll, I'll try to take some more shots like later on uh, yeah. while there's less people. So well, tomorrow morning too. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. So tonight we're gonna eat at Copper, which is the steakhouse uh, here on the first floor. It looks like very romantic and warm and it does. nice. Like as soon as we saw it the first time, I was like, oh, this is gonna yeah. be our date night then. And then, if possible, because apparently on Friday night, yeah. Saturday night, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night. night, it gets pretty uh, hectic on the fifth floor uh, at the other restaurant, because like I said earlier, there's like uh, live music yeah. and everything. So we're gonna try after supper to go up there and try to show you the ambiance and everything and probably have a drink or two. And we couldn't show you, but actually on the main floor when we were looking for another restaurant, I actually came across one of the rooms. There's like a, a birthday party going on in there. Yeah, yeah, But like a very, very nice. nice, like... Yeah. I don't know, it was super cool. Like screens and stuff and lights yeah. and... like neon lights yeah. and... And they also have like cool conference uh, rooms on the fifth floor as well. Yeah. Anyway, so far everything is pretty cool here and uh, staff is very accommodating as well. Oh yeah. Can't, can't complain. What are we doing now? Um, I don't know. What's mine? It's a little early. <laughs> Not that early. So I just decided that we should take advantage of this really cool room by doing a photo session. We don't do very many photos. Like we sometimes no. we get very focused on vlogging that we forget to take pictures. So that is very fun. true. Like normally we go on a weekend trip or something, and I'll have like four hundred clips and like two photos. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Okay, so like just take the phone. Can you seriously just have like the phone? Yes. And just like lay, and then I'll just take the photo like with all this. What do you mean, like this? Yeah. Look what they just dropped off for us. Chocolate covered strawberries. It looks like some meringues, some fruit, flowers. That is so pretty. So we were really last minute coming here, so I sent them a message and I always do that, you know, like, hey, we're very last minute, any last minute discount. And at first we had the smaller room and they gave me like a 70 USD dollar discount for, uh, for the balcony room. And then they were like, oh, we just have the, the biggest room that was just canceled or something like that because at first it wasn't available and I was like, oh, can I get that same discount? They're like, eh, not really, it's our best room and everything, but we can give you chocolate. So Tracy was like, okay, we'll take it if you give us chocolate, right? <laughs> we have to, of course, make sure the taste of okay. it. So are they good? Mm -hmm. Quality control. <laughs> really good chocolate. So Tracy has been asking me for the past three hours, can we have a glass of wine? And now we can, it's, it's 20 to six, it's like acceptable, just before supper. So, I wanted to film this because the other day we went to, whoa, to the liquor store and I found, wait for it, blue wine. So, I have no clue if it's gonna be good or not. When I saw it, I was like, you know what? Uh, I just have to try it. So we're gonna do a taste test with you guys. Al Alma Azul. Blue Soul Chardonnay Dry. So, 
So as you can see, like the bottle is not blue, no. the wine is actually blue. It smells it's, like a Chardonnay. It smells like, super fruity Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Like, it's not the worst wine I ever had, but it's far from the best wine I ever had. Like, I don't think I could drink it. Like, your first thing that hits you tastes like water. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a Chardonnay. It smells so much like it, but taste is so off. And like, it's very like, acidy or something. There's nothing I like about this. No. So, it was blue, I saw it on the shelf, I had to try it. So I'm glad we did. We figured this was gonna happen. Don't buy it. And we bought a backup. <laughs> Just in case. I mean, like the idea is so cool, and if it if it tastes like what it so smells. Why is it blue? Like, is there a dye? Or? I think so, because it said right here, its elegant blue color is a tribute to Mediterranean lifestyle. Ugh, like I want to like it by key. I can't, no. Yeah. So it's tribute to Mediterranean lifestyle. So I think they literally just put dye in it to be like, hey. Okay, not a fan. Like, this like, is like- I took one sip, I can't even take yeah, another no. one. This is like a two out of 10. Mm -mm. One out of 10. Okay, one out of 10. One and a half out of 10. <laughs> It's that bad. Okay, take two. We're going on the other bottle. I need you to do this, I'm failing. Okay, so I think this one's gonna be better. Yes. Touraine Sauvignon Blanc from France. Maison Castel, France, or France. I'm so international. I don't know if you guys remember uh, when we were at the uh, Mayan Luxury Camp, the uh, the sommelier that was there. That's actually his company that uh, imported it. It's Wow Beverages. Yeah. Not sponsor, but if you want to sponsor me, I mean, I do like wine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this better be better. Oh yeah, better. that I can do. Better. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have a reservation at 7 p.m. 7 for the steakhouse and I'm hungry and it's gonna be great. I have high expectation for that. Tracy has been looking all good all day with her nice dress, but not me, still wearing shorts. So I'm gonna change and we're gonna go. Time to change. Voila, much better. So now I, I fit with Tracy. Let's go. We're way too late. 15 minutes, minutes is acceptable, 20 is not. It's Cause we just had a video go live. So like, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to like, Reply to you guys and everything, so you know that, that's why we're like. That's why we're like. We should not make a reservation at seven p.m. It was no, it was terrible. Not a good Sorry. So so far, it's a very very nice restaurant. I love the ambiance. Very romantic. Great one. Reminds me of like a steakhouse back in Halifax. Yeah. Our favorite one. Yeah. yeah. And we even got cake because it's somebody's birthday and he was sharing. You're gonna grab it? <laughs> so we just got our bread and we each get our own individual platter, which is kind of cool. So there's a sweet potato, sweet potato brioche with a cornbread, cream cheese, and butter. And just like that, we are back to our room, just in case you couldn't tell with our awesome outfit. These robes are Pretty amazing. Good. Oh, not yeah. too warm, not too cold. Like, Pretty good robe. Perfect. Yeah, have to say. So supper was really good. Steak yeah. was mwah, unbelievable. So good. And our appetizer, like that quiche, the flavor, again, amazing. Yes, <laughs> no complaints there. So, you know, great yeah. hotel, great food. Good wine. Very good wine. I have to say that was a very good wine. Yeah. A little expensive. 
It was very expensive, <laughs> but, very but good. it was a it very, was very good, good wine, so I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> we're wine people, so you know, sometimes you yeah. could just get a splurge a little, apparently. Yeah. So now, we're gonna drink some more wine. And just, and just we need some time yes. for us. We're in front of the camera a lot, so tonight is all about us. Yes, so yeah. we're gonna do that, yeah. stay in our robes, have a little glass of wine, yeah. go to bed, love each other. And that's it. We're going to catch you guys back up tomorrow morning because we're trying another restaurant yeah. for breakfast. So don't go anywhere because even though for us it's in 11 hours, for you guys it's in about 11 seconds. And you know what? Like, I already know my full review, review but... Um, but tomorrow. You'll know tomorrow. Suspense. Yeah. We told you guys that we love this place so many times. See you guys in the morning. And just like that, 11 seconds later, as promised, it's the next day and we we ended up staying up like pretty pretty late last night so now it's 10 15 in the morning and this hotel something that i really like it's like you know focus towards adults that want to party and that kind of stuff because checkout is at 11 and breakfast goes until 11 no checkouts at 12. Check out the 12 and breakfast goes until 11 which yeah. is really late so we still have 45 minutes to have breakfast yeah. i'm starving I'm thirsty. She's thirsty. <laughs> Let's go eat. Can we just appreciate how thick this mango juice is? It's delicious too. Almost have to chew it. So we are back to our room. We are all packed up, and I have to say, breakfast was really good. Actually, my first plate, because what you saw is actually was my second plate. I got so excited that I ate it all, and I was like, I didn't film it. So I got a second omelet just for you guys. Nah, I can't want it. So the social house definitely lived up to our expectations. It actually was like more than max, <laughs> more than I expected. Like the rooms in general, I just. You know me. I love hotel rooms. I love staycations. <laughs> like, I don't know. This room is great. And our food was phenomenal. Yeah. Like the steak the last, last night. last night. Super good. And everything comes presented like very fancy and like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's great. Overall, like the hotel has a very, very unique style. Like uh, we said before, yeah. it's like a 1950s modern kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, all the restaurants have a very, very different ambiance. I'm just, yeah, I'm a little a sad that we weren't able to go upstairs yesterday, but yeah. apparently it was chaos. Like the, on uh, Saturday night, they have a band there and yeah. it was packed and very loud and everything. So. You know what? We still had a very good night. Oh, yeah. It's fine. But yeah. next time, we'll, we'll try to go there. So price-wise for the social house here in Nairobi, there, there's actually a different bracket. We, mm -hmm. we booked the biggest room that they have, and we actually paid $320 US. Um, they, ha they added a little discount for us just because it was very last minute and yeah. that kind of thing. So always yeah. contact them and ask for prices. Uh, just go on their website. All the prices are actually listed down there, so I'm not going to like, you know, name it one by one just check it out it's very very easy to find so we're all packed up it's time to go sadly it is so don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one